Hello, this is the Death Plateau quest guide for 2007 RuneScape and there are no requirements to start this quest although I highly recommend having a good agility level to restore run energy. So what you need to bring with you is some money around about 500 GP, an iron bar, 10 cooked trout, 10 loaves of bread, a Scanian ale, a blue uh, burberry special, you can get a burberry special from the Grand Tree pub or from other players or um, you can make it yourself you get an Ascanian ale from well, you can get it from the pub but you, well, you can get it during the quests and I'll show you where you can get that okie dokie so to start we'll be heading over to Berthorpe and we'll be heading into the training camp area and there's a little star there with a little arrow with the starters that's where we start and we'll be talking to Dan Luth I think that's how you pronounce his name, that's how I'm going to be saying his name, so oh well, if that's not how you pronounce it. Um, in, on screen you'll also see where we'll be travelling around, um, and that's the area that we'll be working in. So, with everything that you need in your inventory, I know I don't have it with me, but never mind, um, head over to the training camp area and talk to Den Luth. Ask him if he has any quests for you. He's going to say that there are trolls that have taken up camp on the Death Plateau and they're attacking the village. He wants you to find another path up to the Death Plateau. You say you could find another path up to the Death Plateau. He's going to say it's dangerous. Um, he wants to tell you that he's also that the equipment room in the castle north of them is locked and the combination for it is lost. And the combination is been <laughs> locked by a stone puzzle or something like that. So once you've finished talking to him and started the quest, go north to the castle and go up to the second floor. So go up the stairs and talk to Eric. Eric, and ask him who was the guard that was on last night. And he's going to tell you it was Harold, and he's staying at the Toad and Chicken Pub. So once you finish talking to him, head back downstairs and out of the castle and go a little bit east from the castle and you'll see a pub. Go up the stairs and knock on the very oh, the third door, which is the last door, and you'll be at Harold's room. Go in and talk to Harold. He's not going to tell you anything. I think he's just a bit shamed. So leave his room, go back downstairs and out of the pub, go back into the castle and up to the second floor and talk again with Eric. I'm not sure if you, that's how you pronounce his name, but that's how I'm going to, that's, that's what I'm going to call him, Eric. Um, right, so talk to him. He's going to tell you that Harold loves to gamble and Harold loves to drink. So with the Burberry special in your inventory. This is where you can get an Ascanian ale on the pub bar tender thingy, or you can buy it from him for two GPs. Go back upstairs and talk to Harold and then ask him if he likes a drink. Well, you'll automatically do that. He's going to take the Ascanian ale, ask him what was the combination, what happened to it. He's gonna, he said he lost it. Then ask him if he wants another drink. And you're going to give him a Burberry special. Now you need to talk to him again and ask him if he wants to gamble. And he's going to say, yep. He's a bit drunk at the moment. So enter the amount you want. I entered 120 because I'm a cheapo, but I don't really care. <laughs> um, okay, so he's a bit drunk and he doesn't know what's happening so he thinks that he needs to owe you more money or whatever um, he'll give you an IOU and just read the IOU and it's got the combination on it so leave his room once you've got the IOU in your inventory go downstairs leave the pub and go back into the, into the castle sorry about that and to the west in the middle of the castle you'll see like a combination puzzle thingy just pick up all the stone balls and just watch on screen where I put the stone balls um, a little bit of a muck up on the video so you can just pause it and watch the watch at the end of when I've solved the puzzle um, what I've done so there we go 
Once you've solved the puzzle, go to the room north of where the puzzle is and go up the ladder. Talk to the archer, don't attack him. And he's going to tell you that he was trapped in there and he's going to thank you. Now leave that room, go back down the ladder and leave the room and go out of the castle. We'll be heading west. Out the castle and we'll be heading west. Um, we'll be going to the little cave. So follow where I'm going and enter the cave. It doesn't show up on the minimap. Talk to Saba. Ask him if there's any other way up the death plateau. He's going to tell you that there is a Sherpa. Who used to take people up death plateau. And that he might know another way. So, once you finish talking to him, leave his little cave and go west. Run west until you hit a wall and then go south. And follow the path to the gate. Open up the gate and then knock on the Sherpa's door. The Sherpa's name is Ting Tenzing. Talk to Tenzing. And he's going to give you a bit of information on the, uh, about the secret way up on Death Plateau. But the only way you're going to get that secret way up is if you give him supplies. So that's the trout and the bread. He's going to give you his uh, climbing boots to fix. So with the iron bar and, and the iron bar and the climbing boots in your inventory, go back to Berthorpe. And west, no, east of the castle is where we'll be heading. So it's the most northern house, what's well, the house with the uh, smithing icon on it. And we'll be talking to Dunstan. So go into Dunstan, Dunstan's house and um, just talk to him. You're going to tell him that you've got Tingzing's boots for him to fix, and Tingzing's a bit of a cheapo. He hasn't paid him, but um, he'll help anyway. The only thing he wants in return is if you get his son to go onto the Imperial Guard. So go leave his house once you finish talking to him and go back to Danluth. He's in the training camp area. He's the dude that we talk to to start the quest, if you have forgotten to talk to him. And you just go through the dialogue about how you want to get the boots fixed and blah blah blah. Just go through it. He's going to give you a certificate that proves that Dunstan's son is in the Imperial Guard. Go back to Dunstan and talk to him. You're going to give him the certificate once you get there. <laughs> right, once he's given it to you, you've given it, the certificate to him, he's going to fix the boots. Make sure you have the iron bar in your inventory, as I said before. Now we're heading back to Tenzing. It's a wee bit of way to walk, but oh well. Okay, so we've reached the house, we need to talk to Tenzing, we give him all the stuff, the supplies that he wanted, and he's going. he drew a map, he's going to give you the map, and you're going to tell him that you're going to check the path, just in case it's uh, not safe, so go through the north door in Tenzingzin's house and go towards the fence north and go over the stile and continue along the path. So the path leads north and then it goes east. Continue along east until you get a message in your chat box saying that you can see the death plateau and that the path is safe. Now you need to go back to Tenzing's house. You can pretty much um, 
use the teleport uh, the game's necklace to teleport back to Berthorpe because that's will be where we will be going to anyway but if you don't have one you can just walk like me so we'll be talking to Dan Luth You're going to give him the map and the combination, make sure you have that in your inventory and haven't banked it. And he's going to give you the reward and that's the quest finish. You get the ability to make the claws, 1000 attack, oh no sorry, 3000 attack XP and some steel claws. Yay, all done. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Um, if it was, you can just go back or pause the video and... Um, finish the quest thanks for watching um and if you haven't subscribed already please do that and i'll see you in the next video bye bye